going on guys? Today I have an intense total body workout for you and all you need is one single dumbbell. I'm going to be using 15 pounds. You can use whatever you've got. If you've only got two little dinky weights, maybe you can hold them together. Maybe you've got a heavy water bottle. I don't know. Find something and let's do this. jogging in place today. Our format is 30 seconds on, that's 30 seconds of work, followed by 20 seconds of rest, and then we will move on to the next exercise, move on to a third exercise, and start from the top. So ABC, ABC. Um, we have four circuits to get through. It is going to get intense very quickly, especially if you have a heavier dumbbell, but it's going to be fun. Okay, roll those shoulders back and down, back and down. We do have a few hinges today, so I do want to go over how to properly hinge in just a second here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and roll the shoulders forward this time, roll all the way down, walk it up to plank, move your dumbbell, and then walk it back up. Roll it up and down, roll, walk it out to plank, and walk it back up. Two more just like that. Well, I'm going to take this shirt off. Roll it down. Walk it out. Nice strong plank. And up. Roll it up. Last one. All the way down. Walk it out. And right back up. Roll all the way up. Good. We're going to come spread the feet wide. Just rock it side to side here. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy deep. I'm just trying to stretch my inner thighs, get my glutes warmed up, my thighs warmed up, my core is pulled in nice and tight. As you feel more and more warm, you can get lower into it. Good. Now go ahead and just stand up nice and tall here. Sweep from one side to the other, back down the opposite direction, and again. Should feel good. Down the opposite way. Again. A couple more. It feels good. Feels good because my legs are a little sore, which has me a little worried about today's workout. Cool beans. Good. Again, shoulders back and down. Grab your dumbbell and let's get started. All right, my friends. First exercise is a dumbbell swing. This is a hinge, not a squat. So I want you to think less of this, more of this. So back is flat, shoulder blades are in my back pockets. I've got a slight bend in my knee. I stick my booty out like one of those drinking birds, right? That's the idea. We've got a few hinges in today's workout. Just wanna be sure we're doing them right. I'm gonna grab my dumbbell and in eight seconds, I am just gonna swing. Get a nice tight grip on that dumbbell. No flinging them across the room. Here we go. Right between the legs and up. Nice and tight grip, but not like you're gonna kill your dumbbell so you don't fatigue those hands. This first circuit is to kind of get us a little warmer. We're not crazy intense yet. My back is flat the entire time. Big exhale every time you fling that dumbbell out in front. Squeeze your bum. Rest, not so bad, right? Dumbbell comes down. We're gonna walk it out to plank. So we should be just, uh, our hands are just on either side of that dumbbell. Grab it, row, set it down, walk it back up. We go in three. Here we go. Down, walk it out, row, back down, up again, other side, down, Nice stable plank with every inchworm and row. I'm tucking my pubic bone. Abs are staying engaged. My back isn't swaying. Oh my gosh, keep going. All the way up. Woo! All right, we're gonna hinge 
with one leg and then snatch. So I'm going to start with my left leg forward. I'm going to hinge down with that dumbbell like a single leg deadlift. Use my glute, power it up overhead. Here we go. Slide it down. This is my kickstand. Boom. Up. My glute is doing a lot of work here as well as my core. Just fling it up there. It is a cheat, right? You are cheating that dumbbell up too. Good. From the top, we go in 15. So just catch your breath here. 10 seconds, we swing the dumbbell. In five, let's get ready. Remember, it's a hinge, not a squat. Swing it up. Tuck the hips, the pelvis, squeeze the glutes at the top. This is not my arms doing the work. The momentum is coming from my hips. My butt is on fire. Eight seconds, guys. We got this. Come on. Rest. We walk down, row, walk it back up in 15. Not so bad. Not so bad. We go in eight. In three. Here we go, roll it down, walk it out, row, up, stand tall. You're moving as fast as you can while keeping good form and control over the movement. Abs pulled in. Five seconds. single leg, hinge, and clean. So now I'm gonna be working, yes. So it goes in my left hand and my right leg is forward. I will slide down the front, snatch it up. We go in three, here we go. Slide it down, power it up. Down, power it up. That dumbbell peels through the front of your body I'm not muscling it up there. That drive is coming from the lower body and the core. Two. Rest. New circuit. All right, guys, next exercise is a side lunge with an upright row. I'm gonna be going into my left leg here and I'm gonna have a dumbbell in my right arm. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to drop to like a lateral lunge here with that dumbbell and then come up and I'm gonna row it right through here. I'm not shrugging that shoulder into the air. It's just a nice fluid over and over again. It's gonna burn. We go in 10 seconds. So get that dumbbell ready. Try to move quickly. Remember, this is intense. We're looking for some more speed today. Here we go. Woo! Uh, this is gonna get, this is gonna get hard fast. Whose idea was this? 20. 15. Don't forget which side we're doing. Oh my goodness. Five, three. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. I'm going to swing, squat, swing the dumbbell with one hand, toss it to the other side, clean it here, squat, swing, clean, squat. Ah! 
Here we go. Pop it up onto our shoulder. Squat. Swing to toss. Other side. Knees are pushing outward. They're not collapsing in. Do not drop your dumbbell. Eye hand coordination, right? Two. Rest. Set the dumbbell down. You're just gonna tap it with your shoes, your feet, running it out. 10 seconds till we start. Some cardio here, as if it wasn't already, right? Here we go, tap it out. I'll let you know when that timer has good news for you. Halfway. Pull those abs in nice and tight. Eight. Two. Rest. Side lunge, upright row, opposite direction. So now I'm going into my right leg. My left arm is gonna do that row. I really don't know how this is gonna go because that arm is not as strong. Here we go. Start it up. Down, row. Pressing into the heel of that foot that's going out to the side, the side that you're lunging into. Although my entire foot is pressing into the floor. My focus is on the heel so I can keep it in my bum. Oh my gosh, five, three, rest, swing, clean it, squat it, switch it. Woohoo! Well, this got intense, fast. Eight seconds till we start. Here we go. Swing, clean, squat, switch. Get those buddy barking. Make sure you make that switch when that dumbbell is up in front, out, uh, out in front of your body, you're not making it between the legs. Two. Dumbbell comes down, we tap. 15 seconds till we go. And then we're halfway through. Eight seconds. In three. Here we go. Moving for speed. Because we get to rest after this. Come on guys, keep moving. You're about halfway here. Keep going for 10. Move those arms as well. Three. Nice. All right, we're halfway through. Drink your water if you need it. And let's finish this. All right, guys, next exercise is a snatch burpee. So here is a modification. If you wanna keep this low impact and you can't pop out into that burpee, all you're gonna do is come down, walk it out to plank here, step, step, and then step, step in, grab that dumbbell, snatch it straight overhead and then back down the same way and then the opposite arm will do the snatch everybody else we are popping it up to plank popping it back in snatching it up I had to ditch the shirt because it's hot in here we go in three here we go out in snatch come on guys pop those feet right 
up and under you. If you can't get those legs up into that squat, you're gonna have to make sure that dumbbell is under wherever you are. Eight seconds, I need to stop talking. Goodness. Okay, we're gonna do a swing, American style. One arm, I'm gonna start with my left. Swing it up, straight up, and then it's gonna come down nice and slow. Up, nice and slow. Here we go. Again, that's a hinge, not a squat, right? Almost done, swing. I'm really concentrating, because this is my bad shoulder. And it's being so good. Okay, next one. I'm gonna put the dumbbell right here. I'm gonna switch my grip mid-air. So I'm gonna squat down, grab it, toss it, catch it, and then back down the same way. This is a lot of squats, but it's just a quick switch. Here we go. So it's an explosive toss up, and you catch that dumb uh, dumbbell like you're getting ready for a goblet squat, except it's gonna go back down the same way. How are those legs? Two. Going back to that snatch burpee. Who's in charge here? I don't know if I like what's going on. It's getting a little intense. Eight seconds. Two, here we go, out, in, boom, explode. Make sure that back is flat before you go in for that snatch. Eight seconds. Opposite arm now. Swings up, down. We're going eight. Can you tell it's getting hard for me? All right, here we go. Swing all the way up, down, up. Twenty seconds. Ten. Five. Back is flat. Two. Rest. Squat. With that little grip switch. Pop it up. Goblet style, and then drop it back down. Nice and slow. We go in eight. Here we go. Bring those legs out, guys. Drive it up there. Cheat it up, All right? You use the power in those legs to toss that dumbbell up, 15. Just make sure you catch it. 10. Five. Oh, my legs. Two. Rest. One more circuit and we are done. All right, you guys, next exercise is down on the ground. So I'm gonna be in a half kneeling position. 
I'm gonna have the dumbbell right in between those legs. The arm on the side of the knee that's bent underneath you is the side that is gonna snatch this dumbbell up. This is a lot harder than you think because you're on your knees and your legs aren't here to help. So this is all core and you know a little bit of this standing leg. Well, you know, it's a little bit of everything. Leave me alone. Okay, it's gonna come from here, straight up overhead, back down, switch the, the, the feet here. Snatch from there. You have a lighter dumbbell. It would work best for this. Use what you got. We go in three, two, here we go. Snatch it up, switch the legs, and switch. Nice explosive move. Abs are working like so hard. 10 seconds. How's it going, guys? A lot harder than it looks. Am I right? Two. Rest. All right. I'm going to come all the way down, lay down, put the dumbbell in between my feet. Right? So I'm kind of, it's holding me here, or I'm holding myself here with the dumbbell, arms overhead. I'm going to sweep them up and back down. I'm gonna roll through that spine, not sit up with a flat back, right? And then roll back down. So everything is moving here. I can totally use my arms for some momentum today because we are trying to work the entire body by getting the heart rate up, a little bit of everything. Eight. We're gonna do a bent over row and then toss it up here slowly all the way down back row it's like a nice cheat curl so we're gonna hit that bicep and that upper back and the core here we go so we row toss it up slow two three down row toss slowly down oh my gosh row slowly down again row slowly down that bicep is gonna be burning take about three counts to lower that dumbbell we're doing the right arm at least I am rest half kneeling snatch guys we're almost done with this whole workout and I have like dirt on me from my mat, great. We go in eight seconds. Remember, everything's working here. I'm gonna start on this side because this is where I was. Here we go. Snatch. Keep that um, core nice and tight. Abs pulled in, belly button to spine. Brace yourself. 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Three. Ooh. Sit up. With momentum, we cheating today because we're trying to move fast and intensely. You can do the ab challenge after this. I'll put a link down below so you can blast your abs right after. In three. Here we go. Roll through that spine. This should not hurt your back. If it does, you're gonna have to modify by either staying up here and rolling or coming down and only going as high as you can without causing any pain. But my abs are on fire even with using this momentum from my arms to rest other arm row cheat curl and we're done we go in 10 seconds Woohoo! five i'm so sweaty 
two. Here we go. We're bent over, comes up, slowly down again. Up, slowly down on my biceps, up. Come on guys, we're almost done with this entire workout. Five, we got time for one more. Yes, breathe. That was fun. <laughs> nice job, you guys. If you like this workout, make sure you give it a thumbs up or even if you didn't like this workout, but you still like me, give this video a thumbs up. I am not going to walk you through a cool down and stretch because I'm gonna link you to a uh, 10 minute ab workout below. So if you're up for a challenge and you've got a little more energy, I want you to hang out with me, uh, with me there. I'm gonna give you a little stretch there. All right, I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.